there, I'm Craig Riendo um, from Drift South Fly Service in Cumming, Georgia and Lake Lanier, basically stripers and spotted bass. Do a little down to Chattahoochee for show bass too. Today I'm going to show you one of my newest patterns. We got here, um, most some of you out there may know my Harry Fodder pattern, but I came up with a, a new one because this one some people complained it's too big, too thick, too heavy. They wanted a thinner version. And so what we got now today is what we call Harry Potter Light. Okay, for anybody who knows my flies, you know the big thing I'm known for is interchangeable weighting systems. Uh, what that means is you don't have to tie th three and four different weights of the same fly. You only get, have to tie one fly with one weight because the weight is interchangeable. You can take it out put in more, put in less, depending on the depth of the water, the speed of the current. You can do that just as you saw in a matter of seconds versus trying to dig out a fly from your box and retie it on at the moment. So how the interchangeable weighting system works is the first thing you need is what I call a ringer. This product is available through me. Um, you can check uh, driftsouth.com, the driftsouth at bellsouth.net and you can get a hold of me if you need some of these. Or you can go to Rainy Flies and get these. What it basically is just a little rubber ring and what you have to do is cut a slit in it. You want to try to get about halfway through it, halfway around it and center it. I don't know if you can see that. Do that, just cut through it. After you cut it through, get yourself one of these, a uh, sewing machine needle. This is a size 16 which is a pretty heavy duty one. Run it through from the inside of the hole into that little hole we just made. Put this, the needle on top of the hook and pull the rubber ring underneath to catch the second side of the cut. So now the needle is holding is the ringer on top of the hook. And you're going to make X wraps to hold this on. You're going to make from back to front. Get up close behind it and come forward. Always go under the needle. Don't go over. Always go under. And when you get the first one, pull the ring down and make a half a dozen wraps always under the needle. Don't come back over that. You don't want to tie the needle into this. It's not part of the fly. I said just a half a dozen wraps. Then come from front to back. When you come underneath, pull the ring down, come up forward, go back under. Pull down, come forward, he says, just a half a dozen times. Every time you stretch this thing out and let go, it sucks those wraps up good and tight. That holds this thing on here really good. Tie it off, lift the needle up and come with the scissors between the hook shank and the needle and cut off that excess. And now just turn the fly where you want it. So I want it on that side so the fly rides with the weight here, rides hook up. Um, and then that ring holds your weight. You can get any size weight you want. I'm using, this is just a small lead dumbbell, but again, it doesn't matter. This weight is interchangeable. It's like putting a button on a shirt. P put the weight from behind, pushing my finger from the front, and it just slides into place. Again, like I said, that's not going anywhere. And that weight, you can change it any time, so it doesn't really matter what you put in. You can make it whatever you want it to be. Um, what we're trying to tie is version this. It says it's a super simple, if you can tie a woolly bugger, you can tie this. First thing you need is a little crystal flash. On this side, get yourself three or four strands of crystal flash, wrap them around the hook so it's actually tied to the hook already. Make a V and tie it back so they're on either side. So you see it's tied back on either side of the hook. When you get it to the back, just put it in your holder. And your thread back. Next thing is uh, set of silly legs. They come, they're usually like this. Take the strand, fold it in half, 
Yep. And, and split them. So now you have half. On this size fly, this is a size two, is we're going to want a set of eight legs and two sets of four legs. I already pre-cut that, so to show you that's a set of eight. We're going to put one set of eight right down the middle. Start right behind the dumbbell. And tie it on the top of the hook and then wrap it on top. To that. When you get to, don't wrap it too tight because you don't want it to really flare out. If you re cinch it down, it'll flare. We don't want it to flare. So what you got to tie it down, be light, and just progressively get tighter as you come back to the eye. So you have that. Now you're going to want to make, cut the crystal flash just a quarter inch, half inch longer than those original legs. Next thing you use is Estes. This is regular size Estes. Uh, if you want a thicker fuller fly, you could use uh, Estes Grande, which is about twice the, the width of this. To find the end, tie it in right about at the bend of the hook, up on top. So you got right up on top, right with the legs in, and just make one revolution and tie it off at that point. The only point of this one wrap is it's making a speed bump, really. Now this is a speed bump for when the other legs come along the side, they flare out around it, giving the fly a little bit more width. But you don't want too much, so. I say that's up on top. Now like I said, this gets super easy. It says the two other set of legs are just four strands each. Again, I pre-cut these. But I want these legs, everything's layered. The crystal flash is longer, is a quarter inch longer than the first set of legs. So these ones should be a quarter inch shorter than the other. So I have to shorten these up by half an inch. So now again, on the side of the hook, right to the eye, tie it in, and bring it down. To the, right to, right behind the S test. And you can see how it's flaring up and out a little bit, giving it, I can make it more by cinching, but I don't want it to be too much. Wrap that back, come to the other side, grab the other set, come in right at the dumbbell, again, bring it down, cinch it just a wee bit, come back, one half hitch to hold the line, put your line in the cradle. Okay, then get your Estes. Should be come straight up over the top. Find all the legs, get them to come straight back. Now come right just over the legs. You want to cinch them down. Hold them there. Hold them there. Now it's a piece of cake. Just palmer it back. You don't have to make the layers too tight. It'd be about Oh, about 10 wraps back. Get you done. And then tie it off. Right behind the eye. Get that tied down. Get the material out of there. Pull it back. Put a head on there. So I just put a, about three half hitches into it, cut the line, turn it back over, some head cement, I just used Sally Hansen's, put a little on the thread, and bingo, we're done.